what I'm going to display for you here is how we create an action script to make a product that looks like a boxed package. So basically what we do is we can find an image. This image I found somewhere on Google Images. And uh, I blurred it because I didn't want somebody to say, hey, you stole my art. You don't ever want to steal anybody's artwork. And uh, you want to create your own work all the time. So what I've done is I've opened this up and made it the right size that I want. Um, I do have some rules, some guides that I laid in here. You can see I was measuring things out here. We'll deselect that and show you what I'm going to do here is uh, we'll start with first with a layer. We're going to add a new layer and on that layer what we're going to do is we're going to put that right in here. It basically corresponds with what we want to do. We're going to take that. We're going to fill that. At this point I'm going to go ahead and fill that with gray but you could just go ahead and say select uh, some various colors that you want to use. Uh, in this case I like using this red and black gradient. Now you could do all this by hand and you could turn this into an action but I'm going to show you you need to do it primarily the first time without an action. So you go to your gradient and you fill this with a gradient okay and uh, that's on one layer you notice it's still on the same layer there we have our new grayer <laughs> gradient layer and uh, so now we deselect that. We're going to select uh, all that. Uh, go to the default. Get a nice white font or something. Make sure you're using white. Or you can use any color you want. You, you don't have to do what I say. You just do what you want. Okay. This. I'm going to need to learn how to type. This is a boxed product. Okay. So. We'll put this in here. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to know exactly where we're going. We can't just build the action without having been there. So uh, the idea here is build your action as it is. So we take this and we can... Uh, go ahead and merge all the visible in these items and just to give you an idea because what the main thing we want to do with this is want to learn the steps needed to be taken so we don't have a lot of steps here okay we got the first thing built and you can put anything you want in there okay so we line this up to our model which is on the background right now eventually what we're going to do is we're going to delete that. And so there we have, boom, the first part. The next part is we're going to do a spine. And for a spine, we're going to do a similar action here that we have. We're going to select some colors here, make that the front, and uh, switch that, make that the back, go back to the gradient. We're going to add a new layer. We can call it the spine just so we know what we're dealing with. And we go into here and take that and we deselect it and we go back over to our layers. Well, we can't steal that type because that type's already there. So we're going to go and make a new, a new layer for the type. And you'll see that's coming out right here. Okay. And this is going to say box product. Period. I, I don't want to do a lot. Just want to basically show you how it looks. Okay, so then we're going to take that and turn it because this is the spine of your product. Very simple. Once you know how to do this in the raw, you won't have to do it in the raw anymore because you'll create an action for it. But in order to create the action, you need to know what steps are needed. So here I am. I'm showing you the steps. This is good. Don't matter if that's too big because we're going to make it fit. So we turn those two off. We're going to merge those visible. And we're going to end up with the text and the spine together. And we still got that. And we still got this. We're on the box product here, which actually that should say S spine E. Okay, spine. Then we go and we're going to transform and distort it. Take it and make it match right up to there. Boom. Yeah, it looks funny. Now it's going to look better. Take that. 
Put that down to there. Hit enter. There you are. We can hide this. Actually, we can put a new layer on there and select all that new layer and fill that new layer with white. And now we have a new box. Hide everything. Put all this over there. And there you have your product. But you're going, well, what about that white line there? I don't like that. Well, that's why you need to know. These are things that, uh, these are the reasons why you go through this from the very beginning. Make sure it's going to work the way you want it to work. So we take it. Fill it up to there, right to where we want it. Zoom in, make sure it's going to look right. See, they're a little bit off there, see? We'll put that down to there. Zoom out again. If you still got a line you don't like, that's fine, because then we're going to come in later. We're going to do something like this, and we're going to get our brush. And, uh, yeah, we got white in there. Okay, undo that. Make the brush a little bigger. Start right here on the edge. Uh, let's make the brush, let's say, a 60% opacity. We start up right there with one dot, come back down here, hold down the shift, make another dot. And there we have it. We have a box product that basically used to look like that, and now we have our own product with whatever we want on the top. And that's the first part of the tutorial of making a box action script. In the next step, I'm going to show you how we're going to actually record this. We could have recorded this just as it was, and it would have put, this is a box product. But before you do that, you need to make a template, and then you do this part. So that's making a box product in a nutshell.